Hi. Um, today I want to share with you this uh, company called Canadian Railway um, Network, um, which is um, Cana oh, sorry, Canadian National Railway. So the Canadian National Railway Company is a Canadian class freight railway headquarters in Montreal, Quebec, serves Canada, Midwestern and Southern United States. Actually go all the way down to Mexico as well. So um, I just want to show you the Canadian CNI uh, share chart. Okay. Um, okay. Um, if you look at, um, I just want to talk a bit about um, many very famous um, or trusted um, or proven track record type of uh, investors like Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, as well as uh, Bill Ackman just recently bought uh, a big chunk of um, uh, Canadian railway uh, company, CNI. So um, why I say that copy trading sometimes is good, you know, if you look those in uh, investment books, right, uh, they do say that, you know, actually, if we do copy trading um, based on just following what the uh, very proven uh, investors have purchased and we just follow um, and nibble along the way, I think it's actually uh, a quite a good step. And um, in US as well, there's quite a lot of transparency in terms of uh, you can see who buys what, you know. But of course, there's actually a time lag, you know. i just show you this uh, Form 13F, right, in uh, filings. It's, it's something that um, in US, the Security Exchange Commission Form 13F is a quarterly report that's required to be filed by institutional investment managers with at least 100 million assets under management. So if you see all those big players like Bill Edmund, um, uh, Bill Gates or Warren Buffett, they will have to file it. So um, if they are going long on those stocks, right, it's okay with even though there's a four weeks delay for them doing the reporting because um you know we can hold we can buy four weeks later after knowing that and the price fluctuation may not be very much so um so i'll show you that copy trading sometimes is good if we do it well uh why i say canadian national railway is doing very well is because it's, it's, a, it's a good buy especially if you've got spare cash um let's show you this one uh -huh. Second, uh, okay. Um, let's show you the news image. Okay, this is uh the the the, the Canadian railway trains. Uh, I just want to show you the chart. Um, uh, this sorry today a bit. Ah, okay, okay. This chart. Okay, I want. I just want to say to you that you know in Asia side, right? Uh, there's this Silk Road that's happening, you know, of course, China is advocating that they link uh, Eastern Europe to, to, to as, as far down south as Singapore. And, and um, this is uh, towards the Asia continent. And I think um, the US, the North America is actually, the railway can actually link them all as well. Instead of having, you know, with all these uh, shipping container charges at skyrocketing prices, right? And truck driver also is, um, you know, having a tough time finding truck drivers because of um, um, the, the the shortage, you know, and the spiraling wages. So in, in US, that's happening right now. So uh, railway looks like something that is uh, pretty good, you know. Bill Gates' own uh, ownership is about 8.1 million, about 11%. They, they are not like, they are, this is not a, a small chunk. It's a significant chunk of their portfolio in Bill Gates. Warren Buffett owns 22% of the company. Uh, and then Bill Eggman goes all aboard on Canadian Pacific Railway. This is very new. Uh, March 11, uh, review a stake in Canadian earlier this week, returning to one of his most successful bets after selling out in third quarter 201. So the, he sold out and then he, under his company called Pershing Square, so uh, I will link this link as well. So you have three very famous investors buying. Um, I just want to show you the. I want to show you one railway lines that show that it actually connects to even down south as uh, Mexico. Here it shows it gets to somewhere below Florida, very near. So Canada, so you, you can transport liquefied net gas. 
you can transport uh, petrol you know uh, looks like it's actually the best uh, and it's actually a monopoly business as well so i'm going to show you the infrastructure act by uh, biden as well of course hasn't gone through bipartisan vote uh, um, i think that because of um, every time whenever there's a war people uh, every country will spend a lot to revolutionize the um their railway their their industry back on again so uh, but of course this is talking about passenger rail uh, via amtrak but uh, i see there's quite a potential of um uh railway lines coming back on board in 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 uh um the north america continent so um one second to show you this last part of the yeah so you can see it's actually the own it's actually the only company that that uh translate uh, have railway lines that connects canada to west of uh, east of uh, us and to down south as well of course there will be lines going there as well and there should be lines expanding to here as well so um if you think that you know uh, buying um, cash if you got spare cash that's lying around and um, canadian railway company could be a good buy and and um, uh, instead of like parking it on uh, how to say uh, Google or Apple, right? Um, this company may be something that is worthwhile to look at, you know, which I think can become like a cash line type of investment. So um, the, the we call it the Silk Road uh, potential of the Northern America, yeah, continent. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please smash the like button and uh and um, subscribe